Hi, this is Kevin Deal. Today we're going to do an in-depth look at the Primalina Dialog Premium Integrated Amplifier. I was looking at the review in the Absolute Sound magazine that was written by Dick Olsher. Dick Olsher is a very experienced reviewer. He has been around for a million years and he knows tube amplifiers. And when he reviewed this amp, he finished it up by saying, The Primalina Dialog Premium is superbly engineered and built. It makes no apologies to, pro to products costing three times as much. It is my current benchmark in integrated tube amplifiers. That's a big deal. Don't buy something because of a good review. Buy something because it is a benchmark. Stereofall Magazine agreed. They gave it a Class A rating. Class A meaning the best without regard to cost. And in fact, there's three different reviewers at Sterofile just recently that have been using Prima Luna as their reference. That's, that's what you want to look for. So why is it so good? I'm going to tell you why. First of all, this amplifier is the only one on the market that will allow you to change the operation of the amp from a remote control. So it's 36 watts in ultra linear, and at the push of a button, you can switch it to triode. What's triode? Triode is... Uh, Early amplifiers had tubes called triode tubes. Triode means three elements. A triode amplifier is going to be warmer, gushier, the bass is going to be a little bit relaxed, the top end is going to be just a little bit soft. So if you have any recordings that are kind of aggressive, 1970s rock, Led Zeppelin, David Bowie during the glam rock days, anything that kind of bites your head off that maybe you stopped listening to, put the Prima Luna in a triode all that aggression goes away. It uses 612 AU7s in the front end. Two of the tubes are preamp tubes, the other four are driver tubes. Why so many driver tubes? Because these are 12 AU7s, which are dual triodes. That means there's two halves to the tube. They are wired in parallel internally and then in parallel to each other. That allows you to swing more voltage, that increases dynamics. But another benefit is this. When this amplifier is really old, one of these triodes can end up dropping out prematurely. But because you've got so many triodes, you're never going to hear it. Primalina uses the 12AU7 because there's more of them being built today around the world than any other part. So if you want to fine tune the sound of this amp, you can do so just by changing the two 12AU7s in the center. That's especially true if you want to get into the world of new old stock vintage tubes from companies like Mullard and Telefunken and Brymar. <clears throat> There's more 12AU7s than anything else. If you get an amplifier that uses a 6H30 tube, you are stuck. You better like it because there's only one 6H30 that's being made today. And if that factory stops making them, then you're not in a good position. On top of that, 6H30s sound thin. They don't have any body to them, and that's not what we want. All right, uses EL34 tubes. Why EL34s? Because if you talk to any experienced tube head, they will tell you the most beautiful sounding tube is the EL34. They'll also say that EL34s don't have great bass, and that is not true. It's EL34 amps that don't have great bass. Prima Lunas have amazing bass, and all you got to do is look at all the reviews of every Prima Luna product, and the reviewers talk about that. Bass response does not come from the tube being an EL34. Bass response comes from output transformers. Output transformers are the key to a tube amp, and that's where every manufacturer tries to skimp and save money. This amplifier weighs 65 pounds. Compare that to other products in the market. And most of all of that weight comes from iron in the transformers. You can have 500 watts per channel, but if you don't have bandwidth, you don't have bottom end. And Prima Luna transformers are custom designed, custom wound in-house. Absolutely amazing. Now, if you want to play with other tubes, you can. You can put in KT88s, KT120s, 6L6GC, KT150, whatever your little heart desires. There's a tube selector switch to fine tune uh, to different types of tubes. You know, have fun. Getting over to the insides of the amplifier, this is where it's really exciting. The entire signal path is hand wired 
with Swiss-made, silver-plated, oxygen-free copper. No printed circuit boards in the signal path. You don't want to take a tube socket and mount it to a PCB because there's a tremendous amount of heat. And then when you go to remove tubes, you're flexing the board and they always end up cracking. They always end up cracking. And then you have to make jumpers across the cracks, and then you get bummed out, and then it ends up in a pawn shop or on Craigslist. That's not the case here. This amplifier is built to last a lifetime. The pink resistors that you see, those are Tacman resistors made in Japan. It's a custom resistor known for low noise and linearity. In critical positions, we have Mundorf MCAP Evo silver gold capacitors made in Germany. A fabulous capacitor that other, I'm just telling you, other manufacturers will not spend money on parts like that. The power transformer is also very special. This power transformer is huge and it's a toroid. Toroidal transformers are the gold standard, but they cost five, six, maybe even ten times more than a regular C-core transformer. But there's a big benefit to toroids. They don't radiate EMI outside of the core of what's called the donut. So Primalina uses toroids in every product that they make. But not only is it a toroid, it is a potted toroid. That means that it is sealed in a non-microphonic resin and then placed into a can for two reasons. Number one, it's an expensive part. You want to protect it from the elements. Reason number two, you want to make sure that it does not hum and create noise into the atmosphere of your listening room. Now, to make sure that it stays really quiet, Primalina invented something called the AC offset killer. This circuit is charged with making sure that the transformer stays inert. Again, we're trying to drop noise just a little bit everywhere that we can. Now, speaking of dropping noise, this is fabulous. Look, most everybody uses a selector switch, and that's the old way of doing things. Selector switches are not your friend, and I'll tell you why. They don't turn off the other inputs completely. They have poor contact because they use a wiper blade over the contacts. And there's always bleed over and a little bit of junk that gets into the, the signal path. In fact, people that live in New York and San Francisco will tell you that sometimes they'll even pick up radio stations through unused inputs. So Prima Luna has a better way. In the front of the amplifier, there's a very sophisticated controller board. And that controller board opens these relays in the back. They are hermetically sealed made in Japan by a division of Fujitsu. They're guaranteed for 50,000 openings and closings, and they give you much better contact than a wiper on a switch does. And because when you select CD, that relay closes. It gives you the shortest signal path possible. All the other relays are left open. So that acts as a gatekeeper to keep out noise. Underneath each relay, there's a circuit that is designed to present a perfect 100,000 ohm uh, impedance to all of your source components. So if you end up getting a tube funnel stage or a tube DAC or maybe something that just doesn't have a real healthy output section, they like to see a good uh, stiff input impedance and something that's consistent and that's what we're talking about here. The volume control is another special part. I understand the temptation of using chips as a volume control. Chips cost $2, maybe $3 each, but chips sound like chips. They have a little bit of a sheen to them, and they're just a little bit flat in one dimensional. This is an Alps Blue Velvet Potentiometer. It is the gold standard in analog motorized volume controls and it's made in Japan. It is built to last. It tracks perfectly, and if that's really important. If you don't have good uh, tracking between the channels, then the stereo image is going to fall apart. It stays quiet, and it's built to last. And it's expensive. This costs over $50 compared to $2. Um, and then lastly, the protection circuitry. Look, 
if a tube fails in an amplifier, you'll hear people talk about having to ship their amps off, and Primalina wanted to eliminate that, and they've done it. This is the adaptive auto bias board. It looks at the tubes constantly to make sure that not only do you not have to bias the tubes or make any adjustments, but as the tubes age, it will keep them sounding their best because they're being evaluated constantly in real time. So years from now, if one of these EL34s gets soft, it's going to be noted and adaptive auto bias is going to do everything it can to make sure that you don't hear it. Now, if a tube fails in a way that would break another amplifier, adaptive auto bias is going to protect all of these expensive parts by opening up a relay on the adaptive auto bias board. Boom! Puts it into protection. A little red light turns on in front of the bad tube. You simply plug in a new tube, turn the amp on, and go. This is also where the triode and ultralinear switching uh, is housed, by the way. It's completely passive. It's not in the signal path. There's no downside to this. Only good things. This is an amazing amplifier, and I have to tell you something. Don't buy something just because of a good review. Manufacturers count on that. You need to go to Google. Look at Google Images and look at the inside of competing products. Look at how much they weigh. And look at the things that I've talked about here to see if they possess the same type of assembly that the Dialog Premium does. Buy something that's iconic to build, that's built to last a lifetime. The Prima Luna Dialog Premium.